Well, the Legacy Hockey Program made school history last year by qualifying for the state tournament. The Sabres added to the history list this season by heading into state as the number one seed from the West region. Legacy beat Minot 4-2 in the championship game to earn the number one seed. The Sabres head to Grand Forks on a four-game winning streak, and they've won 14 of their last 15 games. We put together some good building blocks, but you know, for me, it's just about doing it every day and showing up every day with the right attitude, right mentality. Um, you can get beat on any given night, and we've seen that this season for us. So we, uh, we just try to build uh, put the building blocks in place every single day. The Sabres open against Davies in the third game of the day. Century is the three from the west, and the Patriots face south in the final game tomorrow night. Winning a state championship is the ultimate goal for every high school team. Doing it seven times in a row with a good chance at number eight this week, well, that's beyond impressive. JT Farabo puts Dickinson Gymnastics in this week's Sports Spotlight. If dynasties do exist in sport, Dickinson's gymnastics program is definitely a dynasty. The Midgets have won the last seven state titles, so it's no doubt winning is second nature to them. I mean, it's really great. We just have a culture of um, the girls work really hard, they push each other, and it just kind of helps keep growing the program and keeps making everyone get better and better. So it's really, it's really a great program to be a part of. One thing that sets this program apart is the connection with each other. Even before they compete on the high school team, younger gymnasts grow up around the program, experiencing the culture early on. You know, it helps we have the girls in the gym, you know, for a long time before they even get onto the high school team. So it helps kind of build that understanding and expectation of what it's going to take to be a part of the high school team. Um, and so those little girls start young wanting to be a part of it. And so they're just already starting to work hard because, you know, they see what the older girls are doing and they want to do it. So it just it just keeps rolling. Liz Karski is an eighth grader. She's been in gymnastics since she was two. Liz says being around the team from such a young age builds a strong bond. It's a good experience because you get to like have the older girls who they really help out at meets. They're really good at cheering you on and like I feel like at practice they're just so supportive and loud and like they make it so much more fun. At first it was a little like scary because like everybody's so much older and like it's really hard to like get into that and feel like you're going to fit in and be like a really good part of the team. But then once you like get going like about like about a fourth through the season like of my first year, it was I felt like I was like part of the team. Everybody supported me and like it just helped me get better with like having everyone support at practice and like helping me through everything. That support ultimately creates a culture where everyone can be themselves. Um, I'm definitely more comfortable around them and I can like you know, be myself and express myself really um, during practice too, make things more fun for the team. The Dickinson gymnastics team travels to Jamestown for the state team tournament on Friday and the individual tournament on Saturday. With the sports spotlight on Dickinson gymnastics, for your news leader, I'm JT Farabo. From you Mary head coach to USD wide receiver coach. That is the path taken by Craig Bagnell. The Coyotes announced the hire today. Bagnell's offense did help a wideout Danny Kittner become an All-American. Well, the Umary wrestling team has four all-conference athletes. Second-ranked Max Bruss is leading the list. Reese Barnhart joins him on the first team. Wyatt Lindbergh and Luke Tweeten made the second team. And Umary's Victoria Murillo has qualified for the D2 National Swimming Championships in three of